the Automotron XP glitch still works after the latest next gen update and it has to be the fastest XP gained glitch method currently available in Fallout 4 and in this video I will show you how to set up your own XP farm. Hi, I'm Mo and I'm trapped in Fallout. Let's quickly talk about the setup of this XP farm. You will need a couple of things. You will need a bed. Why? When you sleep in the bed, you will get the well rested bonus. So if you go to bed just before performing this glitch, you will actually end up getting more XP. You will also need to build the robot workbench. You will need to build a cabinet and you are advised to sort of have a chair and ask your companion to sit down. Yes, you will need a companion for this also. The first thing you will need to do is actually make sure you have enough materials in your workshop to be able to build a new automatron. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and build a new one. And I'm going to go to the torso option and I'm going to give them an Assaultron torso. With that, go ahead and exit. And that's virtually the setup you need. So once you've done that, what you want to do now is go to your workshop and you want to grab all the junk items that are currently in the workshop. So I'm just going to do that really quickly. And with that done, you now want to go back to your cabinet and place all of those items inside the container. Now you are basically ready to perform the XP glitch. Before you do that, you can go to sleep in this bed. Going to sleep in this bed will give you the well rested bonus and that will definitely help you with the XP gained amount from doing this glitch. So how do we actually do the glitch? We've actually done about 80% of the setup. The remaining bit is actually doing the thing. What you want to do is talk to your companion and then select the trade option. And before the trade window appears, what you then want to do is select the craft option on the robot workbench. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Hey. So as you've noticed, I have opened the craft option, but I did select the trade menu with my companion. If I now go ahead and select the automatron, what should happen is the trade menu will open up the same time as the craft menu opening up. Just like that. Now what you want to do is a very specific set of instructions. You want to press down on the D-pad. It's probably worth saying the reason we're going to follow a specific set is because you don't want to spam the A button continuously because that actually takes longer. For a number of items, you will have to press it twice, once to move it, once to equip it. What we're going to do is use nothing but the D-pad to perform this glitch. So starting from the top, press down once, and that should select the torso. Now press right on the D-pad and press right again. And what you want to do here is just press right on the D-pad and you don't want to do anything else. You do not want to press the A button. Do not press the A button. Pressing the A button will actually cause you to basically equip and unequip things and it causes the glitch to take a little bit longer. So I'm just going to do this for about 30 more seconds, but I'll do that off screen. Okay, so I've done that a fair few times now. What I'm going to do now is stop pressing the right button on the D-pad and I'm going to go ahead and just exit the menus. And notice that I got the XP and it is as simple as that. So Previously, I think the advice was to go ahead and press the A button, but don't do that. Press the right button on the D-pad instead and make use of the bed as this will give you more XP. In this video, I have shown you how to use the Automatron XP glitch to gain a large amount of XP very easily and very quickly. But more importantly, we have seen that the glitch still works as part of the next gen update. That said, there are still a number of other glitches such as the special book glitch that still continue to work after the next gen update. Click on the video you see on the screen now and I'll show you a list of 13 more glitches that still work. Click on the video you see on the screen now to find out more.